We want to take you back to 2019. In 2019, his Spinosaurus discovery was named one of the top 20 scientific discoveries of the decade by National Geographic. We're talking about a dinosaur that was bigger and badder than the T-Rex itself. And this month, Dr. Nizar Ibrahim is sharing the story of the Spinosaurus's discovery. It's lost, rediscovered at the Conrad in La Jolla. And he joins us now to tell us more about this discovery and about uh, what he's going to be doing here in San Diego. Good morning, Dr. Ibrahim. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you for being with us this morning. We appreciate it. I mean, the conversation that we're having, of course, in terms of the Spinosaurus, uh, for people who don't understand what a Spinosaurus is, give us a little briefing of it. Right. So it's probably the strangest dinosaur out there. It's a giant predatory dinosaur, even longer than a T-Rex. Uh, it has long crocodile-like jaws. Uh, with very unusual teeth. So this here is actually a, a cast of a Spinosaurus tooth, kind of conical teeth, like a croc. Um, and this was essentially a river monster. It was a dinosaur patrolling ancient riverways and hunting big car-sized fish. Um, it also had a, a giant sail on its back, hence the name Spinosaurus. It had these very long spines on its back. Um, so it's a dinosaur like no other. And it was, so you're saying it was kind of like a river monster, like you said, and the, its its main prey were fish that were the size of cars? That's right. Um, so it's really strange to, to think of a place like the Sahara, um, um, you know, as a river system. But uh, about 100 million years ago, the Sahara was actually home to a huge river system about the size of the United States. So it stretched all the way across the place we now call the Sahara um, from Morocco to Egypt. So a very, very different kind of place. And we know that this kind of conversation gets a lot of kids thinking about dinosaurs, gets them involved. Have you always wanted to be a paleontologist? How did you discover this, uh, this career? Well, it, it started with a book. Um, and, you know, I had this book on dinosaurs and other prehistoric animals. And I was just hooked, you know, I just discovered this, this entire amazing world of animals I didn't even know existed. And so when I was four or five years old, I decided that I would become a paleontologist. Incredible. I mean, it's such a cool story. And as a paleontologist, I imagine when you're out there hunting for dinosaur fossils, you probably spend a lot of time just looking for those fossils themselves. I mean, it's pretty rare to be able to find exactly what you're looking for. I mean, what keeps you going in the in-between when you find these fossils? Is that what really drives this momentum for you to go out and look every time and hunt for these fossils uh, amidst, you know, a, a sea of kind of dust now? <laughs> well, um, you know, the, the next big discovery could always be just around the corner, right? So that's what what really keeps you going. Um, but the Sahara itself is an amazing place, right? It's just this um, alien world with, you know, big rocky outcrops and sand dunes and, um, and it's hard work, you know? We experience sandstorms and we have, you know, close encounters with snakes and scorpions right. and it's, uh, you know, it's a real adventure. So when you're out there, it's not just, you know, you're not just looking for fossils, you're also trying to, you know, survive yeah. in one of the harshest environments out there. That's right, you got a lot of adversity to face while you're out there. We're looking at some of the video here on the screen of uh, what you guys do in terms of being able to put these uh, recreations together of what these creatures look like. Uh, you're going to be coming to San Diego. Tell us about what people can expect when you get here. So um, NetGeo Live offers these amazing immersive experiences. So in this uh, uh, case, people will travel back in time 100 million years into the past and um, they will come face to face with Spinosaurus. We use cutting edge technology to kind of resurrect this ancient giant um, on the big screen. Um, but they'll also see pictures from the field. They'll find out uh, more about you know, what it's like to go dinosaur hunting in, in the Sahara. Um, so it's a really fun experience. And there's something for everyone, right? There is um, you know, adventure, travel, dinosaurs. Um, there's some really interesting history. Uh, turns out that the only other um, good Spinosaurus skeleton um, before this one was destroyed in World War II. So there's a lot of drama there. So it's it's a really um, fun experience for, for you know all age groups, really. Yeah, you're going to have some hands-on things that people can see. I'm assuming you're, are you also going to bring along that fish fossil you were telling us about? Well, um, I can show you this fish fossil. I mean, people will see some amazing fossils on the screen during the, the show. Um, but what you see here is um, a fish fossil. 
Um, you can kind of see the, the head there, the body, and the tail. Wow. Um, and the amazing thing is this fish fossil was found on a big plateau in the middle of the Sahara. So, you know, the driest, most inhospitable place you can imagine. But when this little thing was alive, um, it was a warm, shallow sea. Very different kind of place. It really um, gives you this overwhelming sense of what we call deep time. Right, and how constant uh, the change is here on Earth. Uh, tell us about how people can get tickets if they're interested. I mean, this is a really cool event put on by Nat Geo. Uh, how can people find out more? Uh, so you can go on the website of the, the Musical Society and um, uh, get the tickets there. Um, it's um, uh, a good-sized venue, but, um, you know, I think uh, tickets will be limited. So the sooner you, you get your tickets, the better. Exactly. Um, and... Uh, yeah, you can also turn up on the day, but I think the safest thing to do is to, to get your tickets in advance. All right, Dr. Ibrahim, we appreciate you being with us this morning, showing off uh, some of those cool fossils that you got on hand, and I'm sure people are expecting a lot more uh, once they come out and see you in La Jolla. And we, we are excited to have you here in San Diego, too. Yeah, looking forward to it. All right, sounds great. Thank you, Dr. Ibrahim. Uh, Netta, Eric, I'm sure both of the kids, you know, your guys' kids would be excited to see these kinds of fossils, right? Incredible. Yeah. Bigger than them, some of these <laughs> fossils they've been <laughs> they unearthing are. lately, right? I, I mean, literally at my daughter's school, they do like pretend digs all the time. Yeah. I'm like, you could be a paleontologist. You never know. So you never, never know. Never know what you're going to find, especially here in San Diego, right? Mm -hmm. Right.